Father, we thank you today. We bless your much less holy name. Thank you for the beauty of your name. Thank you for your grace, your goodness, and your kindness. Jehovah, we bless you for your faithfulness. We bless you for your kindness. We bless you for your spirit with us, in us, and upon us. We bless you for your faithfulness, for your has said, your covenant of mercy, your covenant of faithfulness. We thank you, glorious Father, for this time of global intercessory prayers. Our hearts and minds are opened. Our ears are open to hear. Our eyes are open to see. We are expectant to receive words from you. This time of supplication, intercession, petition, and thanksgiving, we present ourselves before you as your people called by your name. We come before you in repentance. We humble ourselves. And we turn from our wicked ways. You said if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways and I will hear from heaven and heal their lands. We pray that you purify our heart today. Remove from us the things that stand against your purpose for our lives, your will for our lives. We pray for your cleansing. We declare today that as we pray, the heavens are opened. We thank you because your ears are attentive to our prayers. Thank you for this time of communication with you. You are a father that answers prayers. You don't need us to go into repetition of words let the pagans do we come in faith we approach the throne of grace with boldness knowing we are heard our prayers are heard our supplications are answered we thank you because you've heard every prayer we're, we're going to make today even before we make those prayers you've heard them already but in faith we have come together and we declare today answers to prayers. We declare testimonies. We declare limitations are removed. We, re we declare restrictions are broken. We declare all satanic and demonic unclean forces are hereby arrested. We come against every hindrance to prayer we declare our heart is open to forgive to love to hope let there be no obstacle between our supplication with you father we we'll bless you today thank you father thank you father thank you father thank you father for the spirit you've placed upon us, the anointing of the Holy Ghost you've placed upon us as we pray. We are praying not in the power of the flesh, we're praying in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost, the rock, assist us right now in prayers. We give all our focus, our attention to this moment, to this hour. Our ears will receive prophetic words prophetic directions as we pray today we shatter every walls of limitation we shatter every forces of darkness we shatter the power of the serpent the power of the scorpion the bible says that you have given us authority to trample upon serpent and on scorpions and to overcome all the powers of the enemies Right now we declare we trample upon the serpent and the scorpions and all the powers of the enemy. We arrest all forms of witchcraft oppression. 
We arrest all alchemy, all works of necromancy, all marine operations, all spirit of the waters, all forces of wickedness. We come against sorcery. We come against enchantment. We come against divinations. We come against spells and curses and evil words spoken against us by the adversary. We break the power of evil to act any further against us. We come against all psychic attacks, attack in the dream realm, attack on our mind, psychological attack, mental attack, emotional attack, soul attack, attack on our bodies. Attack that manifests in infirmity, in unclear thinking. Attack of destruction and confusion, disillusionment, loss of vision, lethargy, weakness. Attack of mindless, mindlessness. Evil attack of confusion, lack of concentration. We declare right now the power of darkness be broken off our minds, of our emotion. Of our homes, we come against the vision, thou foul spirit of division, of disunity, of disagreement. We break your power in Yeshua's name. We arrest now every intrusion. We come against all satanic intrusion. The Bible says the thief come only but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. We declare we are protected from the operations of the thief. The murderer, Satan, and his cohorts. We declare you go no further. You go no further. We, you go no further. The Bible says, give no place. We give you no place. Satan, we give you no place in our health. We give you no place in our faith. We give you no place in our home. We give you no place in our family. We give you no place, Satan. We restrain you. The Bible says, resist the devil. Submit yourself first to Elohim. Resist the devil and it will flee from you. Right now, we acknowledge Jehovah as our Elohim and we come under his supreme authority and rulership and his sovereignty. We declare every area of our lives are exposed, is hereby exposed to his control, his rebuke. His correction, his admonition, his guidance, his leading. We surrender every aspect of our being to you, Jehovah. We keep no aspect to ourselves. We declare we are yielded to you. We are yielded to your voice. We are yielded to the spirit of Jehovah. We are led by the spirit, not by the flesh. Not by human opinion, not by human applause or human suggestion. We are led by the Spirit of Jehovah. We thank you, Father. Our prayers are here today. And every everything I'll be touching in prayer, every aspect we'll touch in prayer today, we declare answers to them. We declare answers to them right now. Thank you, Jehovah. 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 In Yeshua's mighty name, we pray. Amen. Right now, as we as we praying, I want to prepare our hearts, our hearts with the scriptures. Quickly, let's turn to James chapter four. James chapter four, from verse seven. James four. James chapter 4 from verse 7. Before we pray, we must prepare ourselves because prayer is a, is a sacred duty. Prayer is a sacred duty. Prayer is a sacred task. We must prepare ourselves before we embark in prayers. We don't just rush into prayers. We prepare ourselves, spiritual and body, as we pray. And we check ourselves and ask, oh, 
Is there unforgiveness in my heart? Is there any root of bitterness in my heart? What we stand as an hindrance to my prayer? We need the Holy Ghost to reveal whatever we stand as a seed of hindrance to our prayer. And my prayer today is that every darkness, every hindrance be exposed. In Yeshua's mighty name we pray. James chapter 4 from verse 7. Submit yourselves then to Elohim. Submit yourselves then to Elohim. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Verse 8. Come near to Elohim and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your heart, you double-minded. Verse 9. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before Jehovah and it will lift you up. Hallelujah. Humble yourselves before Jehovah and it will lift you up. So amazing. The cure to our frustration begins first by obeying the injunction to submit ourselves first to Elohim. Coming under divine sovereignty, coming under divine leadership, coming under his governance, his rulership, coming under his divine influence. Submit yourselves then to Elohim. In submission, we are empowered, empowered to resist the adversary, to resist the adversary. Resist the devil. Resist the devil and it will flee. And it will flee from you. Without a deep-rooted heart submission to Elohim, we lack the power or the authority to resist the adversary. We lack the infantry we lack the strength, the strength to resist the adversary. The quality of our submission counts a lot in spiritual warfare. James doesn't begin with resisting the devil. He begins first by telling you and I to submit ourselves. Submit ourselves. Submit ourselves. Submit our being. Submit our being. Submit. Which is something we need to understand. How do we submit? The first commandment and the most important commandment of the law will help us understand how to submit. It says, love Jehovah with all thy heart, with all thy strength, and with all thy soul. Submission begins with in a place of deep-rooted love. Loving Jehovah with all thy heart, with all thy strength, all thy emotion, all thy will, with your intellect. It is a loving of Elohim for Elohim's sake. It is this place of honoring this commandment of loving Jehovah with all that we have got. That actually closes the door against the adversary from penetrating aspects of our lives. If we do not totally and completely love him, our lives become aspects of our lives become weakened by the adversary. He will keep pushing at the areas of our weaknesses. He will keep hitting hard at us in those areas where there is no submission. Your submission is rooted in your loving Jehovah, your Elohim, with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy strength. It is having no other gods before beside him. It is having no graven image. It is having nothing that stands before him or stands in his place. It is this place that's brings us into the empowerment to resist the adversary and to see the adversary flee, flee from us. 
To flee means to run as in terror. The enemy can actually run as in terror. That means the enemy is a weakling. The enemy is a weakling. He only flaunts himself through false boasting. The enemy uses pretense. The enemy will raise his voice so high. The enemy will pretend as if he's not going. The enemy will pretend as if he is strong, but he's a weakling. You only know the weakness of the adversary when we are fully in submission to Jehovah as our Elohim. Hallelujah. And this is what we must address today. This is crucial to our prayers. I can't pray. We can't pray, God bless you. Oh, the Lord, do, the Lord bless you. The Lord protect you. The Lord do this. The Lord do that. If we do not force on the score the deep-rooted factor of submission, submission with all our hearts, with all our soul, and with all our strength, there has to be a deep-rooted place of submission. So he tells us in verse 8, Come near, come near to Elohim, and it will come near to you. It's a factor, James 4, 8. James 4, 8 says, Come near to Elohim, and it will come near to you. That means if you choose to stay off, he stays off from you. His nearness is initiated by us. How near our Elohim is to us, how near our Elohim is with us, is determined by us. James 4, 8 says, come near to Elohim, and he will come near to you. He does not first come near, and we come near. We come near, and he comes near. One step towards him is one step he will take towards me. So you see? And you can only come near to him when you understand his value. And that's one thing else we need to underscore. The value of our Elohim. Because you don't come near, you don't come near a person you don't value. Many of us have people we stay off from. You have friends, you stop going, coming near to them. You, you had old friends, you used to come near to them by calling them, by going or visit them. But now... You don't come near anymore. You only come near those you value. Come near to Elohim and it will come near to you. If we value him, we will draw near. Wash your hands, you sinners. And purify your hearts, you double-minded. Double-minded. In coming near is a recognition of our destruction. In coming near should be a recognition of our destruction. We need to wash our hands. What have our, what have, what have, what has our hands handled? What has our hands reached out to that is not your vast will for, for us? What has our hands been stained with? We've got to wash our hands. What has defied our hands? You know, to wash our hands is actually a statement of separation. It's a statement of separation as you wash our hands. I'm not a part of that. It's called repentance. Repentance is a process of washing your hands. It says, I'm no more a part of this. My hands are washed. Repentance, washing your hands. And repentance does not only begin or end with your hands being washed. It goes deeper. We must purify our hearts. And how do we purify our hearts? By faith. Faith is a force of purification of our hearts. Purify your hearts, you double-minded. You double-minded. Our hearts must be fixed on Jehovah as our Elohim. Help our hearts today. To be fixed on you, Jehovah. Verse 9. Verse 9. James 4, 9. 
grieve, mourn, and wail. So powerful. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. <laughs> You know, many times we have a false sense of our spirituality. You think you are doing well. When in the eyes of Jehovah, you are not doing well at all. False righteousness. Counterfeit faith. Don't feel you are doing so well. Are, you, are we where Jehovah wants us to be? Because the more you desire to come near to him, the more you will find a dissatisfaction, there will always be an agony, a dissatisfaction that you are not where you ought to be. And this dissatisfaction will always cause you to be in a place of grieving, of mourning and wailing. It is not a grieving of self-condemnation. It's a grieving of the spirit. A grieving for more of his presence, more of his holiness, more of his anointing and more of his spirit. The more we want him, the more we find ourselves in a constant state of grieving, mourning and wailing. It's a place of deep yearning. It's a place of deep yearning. It's a place of anguish. It's a place of anguish. And may we enter that place today, the place of anguish, Spiritual anguish, spiritual yearning, spiritual dissatisfaction as we crave for more of Him. Now it says to us in verse 9 Grieve, mourn, and wait. Change your laughter to mourning. Your laughter is worthless. Your laughter is, decep is deceptive. You're laughing when you are empty. Why are you laughing when you are empty? Why are you pretending all is well when all is not well? Change your laughter to mourning. Change your joy to gloom. Your false counterfeit appearance of joy. Change it to gloom. You've got to be in a secret place. There's more Jehovah has for us. And verse 10 is the key. James 4.10 tells us, Humble yourselves before Jehovah and it will lift you up. Hallelujah. Humble yourselves. The whole procedure is to finally come to the place where we humble ourselves. We humble ourselves before our Elohim so he will lift us up. Hallelujah. Now let's look at Psalm 63. Psalm 63. Psalm 63 from verse 1. Psalm 63 from verse 1. You, Elohim, are my Elohim. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you. In a dry and parched land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live. And in your name I will lift up my hands. Verse 5, I will be fully satisfied as with the richest of food. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. On my bed I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. Because you are my help. I sing in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you. Your right hand upholds me. Those who want to kill me will be destroyed. They will go down to the depths of the earth. They will be given over to the sword and become fools for jackals. But you, the king, will rejoice in Elohim. All who swear by Elohim will glory in him while the mouth of the liars will be silent. Let's see Psalm 69. Psalm 69. Psalm 69. 
I read, I read from verse 1, Psalm 69 from verse 1. Save me, O Elohim, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in the mire depths where there is no foothold. I have come into the deep waters. The floods engulf me. I am worn out calling for help. My throat is parched. My eyes fail looking for my Elohim. Hallelujah. My eyes fail looking for my Elohim. We're going to cry out this evening and ask you over. Help me to seek after you. Let my seeking be for more of you. Let the psalmist tell us, says, my soul longs for thee. My soul, says, I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you. It's your whole being, your whole being longs for you. If our whole being longs for him, it actually changes our life. Since my whole being longs for you, that's to be deeply in love. Deeply in love. Ask your over this hour, say, Father, I lift my voice to you today. Help me be head over heel in love with you. Let my whole being long for you. Let there be a deep longing for you. All distractions and unbelief and doubt and fear be broken off our hearts today. We pray for a call into the deeper place of righteousness. The call to walk in our high calling. The call to seek you more. The psalmist tell us, earnestly I seek you. Earnestly I seek you. Do we seek him earnestly? Do we seek him as if do we seek him as if our life depends on him? Earnestly I seek you. What are we seeking today? Like the psalmist, may we cry out that we may seek you earnestly. Because you are our Elohim. Even in a dry and parched land where no water is, may we be seeking you, Father. If no one seeks you, May we not give up. May we push. May we seek after you. I task for you. I long my whole being. My whole being longs for you, Jehovah. We declare in this season for greater seeking of Jehovah. Greater time in his word. To invest more time in his word. To spend more time at his feet. To be more immersed in his anointing. To find ourselves fully inundated, saturated with the awesome presence of Jehovah. We declare this season. Let all distractions and delusion be broken off our hearts. We come against all double-mindedness. We declare our hands are washed. Our heart purified from all forms of double-mindedness. Double-mindedness is a basic hindrance to our spiritual growth. James 4.10 Humble yourselves under Jehovah's mighty hand and he will exalt you. He will lift you up in due time. We humble ourselves before you, Jehovah. We humble ourselves before you, Jehovah. We pray for your exaltation. We ask for your exhortation. Exhort us. In due time, exhort us. As we seek you, we know seeking you has a reward. For you are a rewarder of they that diligently seek you. The secret is in seeking you. The young lion may, hung, may suffer hunger. But those who seek Jehovah will never lack any good thing. We declare, we declare, we declare strength to seek you. Thank you, Father. In Yeshua's mighty name we pray. We're going to pray again for strength for the saints. The saints need strength. We need strength because 
One of the things the adversary is doing now is to create weakness. Weakness. Let's turn our Bibles to Ephesians 6. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. We need to be empowered by the Lord. We need to have him empower us in these times of spiritual conflict. Ephesians 6 10. Finally be strong in Jehovah and in his mighty power. Verse 11, put on the full armor of Elohim so that you may take your stand against the devil's schemes. Daily we will be faced with schemes, wiles, deception of the devil. It will come in ways unsuspecting. It will come in ways we often would not design. It will come through people we ignore. It will come through people we may not design our instruments of the adversary. It may come through those we love. It may come through those who have helped or supported at one time or the other. He tells us so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. What is in, what in our life now is a scheme of the devil? What step are we taking now that is about to lead us to the devil's scheme? That once you fall into that scheme... It will take you a long time to recover. Many never recover from this scheme. Because the devil's scheme is like a spider web. The more you try to break out, the more you are entangled in it. The first key to victory is to be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Then we are to put on the full armor. Of Elohim, hallelujah. Shakara Baba Put on. Are we are we are we constant or even conscious of this? Or are we just natural thinkers? Many of us are not even aware of the necessity, the vitality of this instruction. We treat this instruction with negligence and forgetfulness. Do we wake up in the morning with a sense of, oh, there is a scheme of the devil coming our way today? You may be hit by the scheme of the devil today or tomorrow or next week. If we are not prepared, we'll fall into the schemes of the adversary. Verse 11, Ephesians 6, 11, put on the full armor of Elohim. So there is a battle. He said there's a battle. It's not a jail. It's the faith is not a jolly good association. This is not a jolly good association. We are in a battle. We are fighting a war. An old ancient war. We are involved. Either we are conscious or unconscious. Aware or unaware. We don't want to be taken on our ways. Ephesians 6.11 tells us, Put on the full armor of God, so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Verse 12, For our struggles is not against humans. That's flesh and blood, humans. We can be so human conscious. You know, that's the challenge. The struggle is not human. The struggle is not human struggle. The wrestling. We wrestle not. The wrestling. The, the, resist, the resistance. The forces resisting us. The war we are, we've embarked on is not against flesh and blood or humans. It is it's a transcendent battle. It is against the rulers. It's against the authorities. It's against the powers of this dark world. And against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of Elohim, so that when the day 
of evil comes. It is it's not saying if the day of evil comes. It's not if. It is when. When the day of evil comes. You may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand. Stand firm then with your belt of truth buckled around your waist. The belt of truth is the first instrument of spiritual combat. The belt of truth. Anchoring your vast truth on our loins. Hallelujah. Therefore, put on the full armor of Elohim so that you may be able to stand against. So that you, so that when the day of evil comes, this is crucial. <laughs> when the day of evil comes, how can you tell when that day will be? How can you tell the nature of that evil when it comes? How can we measure our preparedness against that day? Personally, there's a day of evil. Corporately, there's a day of evil. Nationally, there's a day of evil. And globally, there, is a, there are days of evil globally. So these days of evil are in measures. They are in categories. Personally, you face it. Corporately, we'll face it. Nationally, we'll face it. And globally, there will be a day of evil. Are we prepared? So it tells us. So when a day of evil comes, you may, you may be able, you, not us, you, is a personal place. You may be able to stand your ground. The day of evil is to shift grounds. The objective of this day is to shift our ground, to shake us, to shift ground. To stand our ground. When this day comes, and after you have done everything to stand, verse 14, Ephesians 6, 14, stand firm then with your belt of truth buckled around your waist, with a breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with a readiness that comes with the gospel of peace. Of peace. Verse 16. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. How can you sense when you've been hit by your flaming arrows? It is only when we are conscious spiritually because you can be hit. A person can be hit and not be aware of what has happened to him or her. Only when we are sensitive to this war, this battle, can we be attentive that we've been hit by a flaming arrow? There is a flaming arrow of the evil one. May it not hit us. There's a flaming arrow of the evil one. May it not hit our partners. There's a flaming arrow of the evil one. May it not hit our family. There's a flaming arrows of the evil one. May it not hit our children. There is a flaming arrows of the evil one. May it not hit our health. There is a flaming arrows of the evil one. May it not hit our loved ones. Faith extinguishes the flaming arrows of the evil one. Verse 17. Take on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit. There is a sword of the spirit. It's a sword of the spirit. That tells us the nature of the, of the rock. The spirit is a fighter. The spirit is a fighter. The spirit has a sword. It calls it the sword of the spirit. Which is the rema of Elohim. There is a sword of the spirit. Walking with the spirit of Jehovah. Should grant us that sensitivity that the spirit of Jehovah is a warrior. He has a sword. And this sword is the word of God. Hallelujah. 
So when we take on the word of Jehovah, we are actually holding the sword. The word of Jehovah is actually a sword. Hallelujah. Verse 18. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all Jehovah's people. Pray also for me that whenever I speak, words will be given me so that when I, I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel. Verse 20. For which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. Hallelujah. Let's be cry out to Jehovah right now. Cry out to Jehovah. La kapara koto saka charamanda shilahata. Le kabragada sonta bragada moshia. Cause also begin to walk in the mind of the spirits. Be strong. The step to war is to be strong. War is not for is not for weaklings. War is not for weakling. Spiritual warfare is not for the weak. Spiritual warfare is not for the lazy. It's for the strong. The strong, Yehovah, will ask for strength. To be strong in Yehovah. To be strong in the Lord. And in the power of His mind. I pray, inundate, fill us. Fill us with the power of your mind. I pray for strength. Strength. Strength in this journey, strength in the ministry. Pray for House of Israel worldwide. Pray for House of Israel USA. Pray for the leadership of House of Israel USA. We'll pray for strength, spiritual power, and mind. We'll pray for Apostle Arthur Bailey and his family and the church in Charlotte to declare strength for them that they will be strong in Jehovah and in the power of his mind. We'll pray for House of Israel UK. Pray for Brother Marcos that he'll be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. We'll pray for his family. We'll pray for the membership over there that they will be strong in Jehovah. We'll pray for the church in Ukraine. We'll declare strength in this season. Cause them to walk in the strength of Jehovah and in the power of his mind. We'll pray for our partners right now. Let's pray for our partners, our friends, our well wishers. We we'll declare that they will be strong in Jehovah and in the power of His mind. We we'll pray for strength. There's a war. There's a war that calls for strength. There's a war that calls for spiritual mind. Psychology cannot win this war. Rhetoric cannot win this war. Sophistication cannot win this war. Only the strength of Jehovah and his mighty power can help us win this war. Strengthen us today. I pray for my wife. I pray for my family and my daughter. I pray for my members. I pray for members of this ministry in Lagos. I pray for their families. I pray that they will be strong in Jehovah and in the power of his mind. Pray for all members of this ministry that they will be strong in Jehovah. Come against all disillusionment, all deception. We declare strength, strength, spiritual harmony. To be strong in Jehovah. We receive strength today. We we'll pray for the saints. The saints worldwide. We we'll pray for them also. Father, strengthen the saints. Strengthen us. Let the adversary not bring us into weakness. We don't want to fall to the schemes of the evil one. Bring us out of every snare of the adversary. Bring us out of every snare of the adversary. All of his wives, his traps, his deception, his gimmicks, his craftiness. We pray for the Zan men today. We pray for the Zan men, for the body of, the, of Messiah. Pray for this ministry. We ask for the Zan men, greater level of the Zan men and awareness and power. To fight this battle. To walk victoriously. Grant us strength. Grant us strength. Grant us strength. We we'll pray for healing also. Healing. Let's pray for healing. For those who have been injured. Those who have been injured by the adversary. Those who have been wounded by the adversary. Those who have been hurt 
by the fiery darts, by the flaming arrows of the evil one, those who have been injured by these arrows, we pray for healing. Heal our body, heal our mind, heal our emotion. Heal us. Every spell cast against us. Every word spoken against us by the adversary, by the kingdom of darkness. Every operations of the marine, marine kingdom, the marine spirit. Water spirit. Witchcraft spirit. Occultic spirit. Every initiation of wizardry and sorcery against us. Every declaration from, from the lips of false prophet, false priestess, and false priest. Every enchantment and declaration made on the altars of wickedness, the shrine of Baal. Every contrary word spoken against our health, our well being, our mental focus, our clarity, we come against now. Every voodoo, hex, charm made against us we command it to be destroyed now we destroy we destroy all assigned wickedness all clouds of darkness all heaviness we come against the operation of the dark world we come against Satan's schemes, we stand against his scheme and we declare we put on the whole armor of Elohim. Take out of our bodies whatever the enemy has put in us. Every arrows, every attack, every activities of darkness in the night times, in the daytime, the Bible says that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. The Bible says. A thousand will fall at our side, ten thousand at our right hand side, it will not fall near us. Only with our eyes shall we see the reward of the evil. We frustrate the activities of the evil one against every member of this ministry, against partners, against families, against loved ones, against our children, against our home. We come against arrows of premature death. We come against the arrows of sickness and infirmity. We come against all spiritual, emotional infirmity. We break all demonic deposits. We declare we come under divine submission. And therefore we resist the devil. We command Satan. We declare. We declare. We command you. Take your hands off our bodies. Take your hands off our finances. Take your hands off our mind. Take your hands off our soul. Take your hands off our children. Take your hands off our loved ones. Take your hands off our partners. Take your hands off right now. Go no further. Go no further. Pray for my daughter, my wife. I frustrate the activities of the adversary against them. I pray for those who are with us right now through Facebook. Those who are with us on the internet. I will, will pray and will declare that the power and the mind of Jehovah rest upon them. We cancel operations of wickedness. The activities, all of the activities, be shattered now. We declare good health, good health, good health for Apostle Atobeli and his family. Good health for him. Good health. We we'll pray for Joel Masco. Good health for Joel Masco. Good health for the family. We we'll pray. For every family represented on this Facebook live broadcast, every family represented right now, those who are with us, we pray good health for them. We shatter, we shatter, we shatter every manipulation of the dark world. We come against the oppressions of rulers, against authorities and paths of darkness. We come against the work of spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms we declare their actions will not affect us we block their actions as we walk in righteousness as we walk in the armor of Jehovah we declare we are unaffected actions of wickedness poison food poisoning water poisoning counterfeit drugs 
human errors. Human errors. Operations of medical science. Manipulations of men. Demonic institutions and their programming. We declare we are shielded. We are immune. We are covered. From all assaults, manipulations of a spirit world. Every effect of the dark world against us today will declare healing and deliverance. If there be influences in our bodies, that is a reaction to an operation in the spirit world, we come against now and we declare healing. Poison in a dream. Every poison in our dream. Psychic attack. Attack in the dream realm. Attack on our emotion. Harassment. Crystal ball attack. Algae ball attack. All forms of witchcraft will break now in Yeshua's name. We we'll pray for the advancement of this ministry. That your vow keep granting out of Israel Lagos the influence, the platform, the voice to be relevant. Let's pray the house of Israel. We stay focused, relevant to this generation. We shall not be distracted. We shall walk in the harvest. We shall stay true to the Great Commission. Let's pray, pray for our radio ministry. That your vow will grant us effective results. That will be result oriented. There will be impact. There will be growth, development. That the listeners will be impacted by the message, the gospel, the true gospel of the kingdom. It will impact them. We we'll pray over with cause each one to have a hearing ear and a seeing eyes. We we'll declare freedom from all forms of bondage, mental bondage. We we'll declare the eyes of men be open to see the truth. We come against all deafness, spiritual deafness. All spiritual deafness. Our ears are open to hear. Our eyes open to see. Let's pray for those who are trusting you over for marital companion. For marital companion, pray for our single sisters. Our members who are still single, trusting you over for, for marital settlement. Let's declare over them, Father, in this season, let there be marital miracles. Marital miracles for our sisters, our brothers who are of age for marriage. We pray for them that you will, you will connect them with the right companion. Your word says, none shall lack their mate. None shall lack their mate. We declare, let none lack their mate. Let there be divine connection. We come against every operation of wickedness against our members, powers hindering them from settling down maritally. Let there be divine orchestration and movement of the Spirit of Jehovah to cause a miracle maritally. Let's pray for those who are seeking Jehovah for, for employment, for job breakthrough. Let's pray for job promotion, next level of promotion, and workplace promotion. That each one will experience workplace promotion, job favor. None will be idle. None will lack employment. Each will be effective and efficient. So each will have enough to give. An idle man has nothing to give. A lazy man has nothing to give. An unemployed person cannot give to the advancement of the kingdom. Let's pray for our members, pray for our partners that they will be gainfully employed and they will be prosperous in their workplace, in their business, in their enterprise. That there will be wealth flow, a flow of wealth. Pray for real estate breakthroughs. That we will be in our own lands and properties. That we will no longer rent, but we will own lands and properties and things, structures and equipment. For the advancement of the kingdom. Pray for lands and housing, real estates, breakthrough. 
financial breakthroughs for the advancement of the kingdom. Let's pray for those who are sick in their bodies. Let's declare we don't care the nature of the sickness or the infirmity. Let them, let them be healing right now. We we'll pray for healing. Healing. We come against all forms of infirmities and sickness of the body, of the emotion, all infirmity. We come against now in Yeshua's name. I pray for healing in my home. Divine health, that we'll keep walking in divine health. That no harm will come near us. Declare protection in our going out and coming in. All of the activities and the expectation of the adversary will fail and falter. The snares of the adversary will not come true. He that digs a pit will fall into it. He that rolls a stone shall himself fall. The stone shall be rolled back to him. Jehovah bring us out of every snare of the adversary. Pray for all pregnant women. For safe delivery. Safe delivery. No complications. We arrest all satanic ministry. We command them inefficient and ineffective. We declare the peace of Jehovah. Divine miracles of Jehovah. Our pregnant women will deliver with ease. Because they are the Hebrew women. The Hebrew women are not like the Egyptian. The same Elohim that enabled Sarah to conceive and to deliver Isaac without complication. You will enable our women to deliver, to carry, to carry, to carry babies and then to deliver without complications. We come against all works of the devil. We declare our pregnant women receive grace to carry this pregnancy. Grace. Grace. Supernatural childbirth. Grace for supernatural childbirth. Grace for supernatural delivery. Let it be the assistant of divine heavenly midwives. Heavenly midwives. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released to walk with our pregnant women. Heavenly midwives. We declare for women who are barren. It says none. None shall cast their young. None shall be barren in the land. None shall be barren in the land. We declare fruitfulness. For those who are trusting you over for conception. We release the anointing of conception now. Fruitfulness. Let each one be a, receive seed. to con Seed. Seed right now. Let seed be released. We thank you, Jehovah, our Elohim. We appreciate you for answers to prayer today. We glorify you. In Yeshua's mighty name we pray. Father, we thank you for this hour of prayer. We give you thanks and praise because our prayers have been heard. We declare every petition and supplication made is granted. And we declare... We walk in the light of your word. Let this week be the week of miracles. A week of signs and wonders. A week of ease. A week of favor. Let all we put our hands upon to do prosper. None shall be hurt. Nothing shall be broken. Nothing shall be damaged. Our going out and coming in is blessed. We are blessed in the city and blessed in the country. We are blessed in our going out and blessed in our coming in. Thank you, Jehovah, our Elohim. In Yeshua's mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Such a blessing to, to have been able to pray today. I want to encourage us to share, this, to share this broadcast and then let's host a watch party so people can be involved and aware of the things we are doing this prayer can set someone free because it is an anointed prayer. You can, you have a chance to go on Facebook, on YouTube to download and listen to this prayer all over again. It is an anointed prayer all over again. Keep this prayer playing in your home, in your environment. Keep the prayer praying. Keep the prayer going. Keep the prayers going. 
in Yeshua's name. So we have a chance to give right now. We can sow a seed. Let's sow a seed of love, a seed to connect to this season. Say, hold your seed right now. Say, Father, as I give, let my seed be anointed and blessed. Accept my offering today. Accept my seed. For those who are with us on Facebook, you can give through Catch Up and through PayPal. Catch Up is a new, new medium we have arranged for our partners for the most convenient way. Whichever is most convenient for you, Catch Up or PayPal, you can use them to make donations, to give offerings, to give tithes. And as you have place in your hands, in your heart to do. There is no other time to sow or to give a seed like now. Like now. Like now. Like now. Like now. Jehovah, may every seed sown under this anointing be multiplied. May every obstruction to the finances of your people be lifted right now. May favor increase in the lives of your people. May good health, sound mind, and divine multiplication be released upon our seed and our offering. Thank you for answers to prayer. In Yeshua's mighty name we pray. Same thanks for being a part of today's prayer, global intercessory prayer. Look forward to seeing you again on Thursday for our discipleship training program and also look out for a radio broadcast on Wednesday 6.30 to 6.45. Look forward to having you around. Love you. Shalom.